Hello everyone and welcome to the van. Uh, as you can see, uh, I'm halfway through doing stuff and that's actually because it's the same day as it was in the last episode. I've got very carried away, my dad's changed his plans, so we're not doing much today, I helped him with the odd thing. Um, but yeah, so I've been doing the van. So, oh, trees and wind. Um, basically what I've been doing is I ground back all of those really annoying like mounting points. Like, here, I had to literally butcher every single one. And I had to grind the head off from like, gr start grinding in there, then cut it in half and then grind a bit further up, otherwise I would have just gone diagonally all the way through that piece of metal. Um, and I had to do that, what, six times? And then I realized there's still some more up here, as you can see. And that was an absolute disaster. Uh, well, this one, so that one and I think it was just that one I managed to get out um, with like properly. And then this one, I put, ground a hole, a uh, flat down there and I managed to get it out using an impact driver and using a flathead bit. And then the others, I did the same as the floor, diagonally cut, cut in half, diagonally cut again. Uh, and then I ground all the heads back and also all the screw heads because the ply on the floor was screwed down just with normal screws straight into there so now basically red oxide well first I've got to sweep all this and the reason I've started this video is because it's going to be rust treatment now I'm sure you've all probably seen these before on van builds because well it's quite a po po common thing to have rust um, but yeah so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a wire wheel because they're great for getting back rust uh, if you can see in there, there's a wire wheel. These things are amazing. And uh, I'm going to grind back this step pretty much completely because you will see part, if not all, of that step because, like, the doors overlap over it and stuff, so the insulation can't come that far. So, and then I'll probably grind back up to about there, I would say. So, I'm going to put you guys on time lapse, which is going to be. <laughs> The story of this van build. Maybe once I get a bit more into it, once I get into my element of uh, woodworking, I'll do some maybe montagey bits and it'll be a bit cool. But for now, I'm gonna do some time lapses because also there's only me and it's just easier to stick it on the tripod and do some time lapses. So sorry about that. But it is what you've seen before probably in other builds, which is rust treatment. So here we go everyone, I did in the end decide to, um, as you can see, take off the step. Um, but yeah, this all came out nicely. Might give it a quick sand first. Uh, it's getting a bit chilly and a bit dark. So I'm gonna give this a quick sand, put a jumper on, and then I'll give it a little coat of red oxide. Good morning everyone, um, it's not quite as early as the other morning as you can kind of tell um, but carrying on with this video we are way falling over to a start, it's a good start and as you can see I put a tarpaulin up there so basically um, if I come over here you can see a lovely tarp and it's basically just a barge pole in the middle and then a little black PVC um, pole as well but basically today uh, before I do the red oxide because I didn't get to do it last night so it got a bit too late for painting because it was getting too cold so uh, I thought I'd wait for this morning well not this morning because firstly I'm gonna take everything back out again because I just got the tools in here currently and then once it's all out I'm gonna give all of them a massive clean as you can see they're so dirty um, and then, once it's all dry and warmed up a bit, it's supposed to be quite a warm day because it's cloudy. Uh, it did rain last night, that's why I put the tarpaulin up. And last night I went on a big, big spending mission and I spent 205 pounds, I think, in total, or 200 pounds. Basically, I was left with about 15 pounds in my bank. Yeah. So, I'm gonna get on with cleaning it 
and I won't put you on time lapse this time because I feel like doing something different and putting a bit of effort into making it look a bit cooler. So let's get to that now. So here we go everyone, it's looking very, very nice and clean as you can see each panel has been, so I wiped it with hot water and sponge and then that water was just black as I showed you. So then the next step was to, I got a hose here and that yellow sponge and I gave it all a wipe going back and forth rinsing out the sponge after like every single panel and then you were left with like dirty drip marks I got like an old kitchen cloth that was just lying around and I gave it all a wipe um, and that kind of still left some little smudges so then I got an old rag and fully dried it down and uh, that got rid of any kind of dirt smudge and everything and absorbed it all and then the floor even though I swept it and swept it and swept it again it still somehow <laughs> was well I was like wiping it with that yellow sponge getting all of the like footprints that I'd just done as you can see it's footprint free I've been in their bare socks to do that um, still shards of metal and stuff like that jeez it's just like never ending the dirt but I think mostly it's pretty much clean so I'm gonna quickly red oxide do the montage for the red oxide in the floor and making it all rust proof and then I shall see you guys when I my deliveries come and I can start fixing the doors and stuff. So here we are guys, the step is looking much better and uh, f once that's dried I will put the black actual step back on. I'll paint that in a top coat when I actually paint the outside of the van, that's the plan. But um, there was just so much paint and so much piles of cement and stuff, I just wanted to grind it all back while I could still access it and it wasn't going to make a mess. Um, and then give it a coat of primer so it's all ready for the, for the top coat, whatever colour I choose. But these bits here, as you can see, these aren't actually metal like they're they're kind of that's metal actually I need to put a bit over that um, from when I was grinding that is they're kind of like this this kind of like it almost looks like galvanized metal which it probably isn't because it's a van that would be very expensive so guys I don't know if you can see my mount uh, the audio is probably going to be terrible because I am actually plugged into this microphone but I fixed it with some hot glue and not just at the tips like I was doing before I wedged it in between all the gaps and that's properly sturdy so hopefully that'll last a bit longer. 
So, that's all my work done for today. I'm going to tidy up and I shall see you guys on Friday, probably. Hello, everyone. So, I now have my uh, light bracket uh, so I can put it up there um, and my microphone as well. So, that's very cool. But I'm just going to show you. So, uh, I got a parcel today. I've got a few bits of exciting stuff back there. You can see wood. Uh, you can just see wood. There's, there's vapor barrier. There's all sorts. That'll be the next episode, though. So, this tonight. Um, and oh, I've got to do the sliding door latch too. So these are the two fixes I'm keeping for this video, um, and this one being the bottom latch here. So the new part arrived, very nice and shiny as you can see. It looks rather nice. Nice little black latch in there as you can see. It's going to work nicely. And. Uh, I put WD-40 on here when I was mucking about when I like the day after I got the van, and I've also put um, some WD-40 on about an hour ago, and then <laughs> I used my impact driver with a T30 drill bit, not that you can see because it's too small to focus on, um, and then here uh, they just came straight out with the impact driver, and here is the old one, if it can focus on that, it's probably too bad to focus on. There you go. So as you can see, that like plastic bit that was nice and black in the other one is uh, fully open, and that's why it was never latching to the bottom, and you could just pull the bottom of the doors open. Very, very. Even the paint spread to the doors. You remember the paint earlier in the video where I painted that? Spread to the doors. Crazy. Anyway, so what I'm going to do, uh, it was a faff to get out because the door slightly squashed. Not so sure if you can see. But if I do that, yeah, you can see I bent it out just to try and get that thing out, but it's right squashed in there. I'll tell you, this light's really useful. I am using this one too, which is doing quite a lot because it's a brighter one. It's powered off my 12 volt system. So the whole light in here that's going to be while I'm building is going to be this. Oh, it flickers a bit. That light there, which I know you can't see very well because it's a light, but um, yeah, quite good. Um, what I'm going to do now is give it a quick test. I think that's the best thing to do. I'm going to leave you guys in here, I'll put you there, and we'll see what happens. So, move the Allen keys and the drill bits out of the way. Where's the other one? Lost a drill bit, oh well. Okay, so. Basically, the door doesn't go in enough for the, me for the mechanism to actually click. So it's going right up to it, but because the door's been smashed in, it's not working. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a crowbar and try and pry it out. I think that's the best way. It's solid, and it comes out. Lot of paint offload on my lovely new paint thing, so I'll show you now. So, all I did was I got this scrap piece of wood, which was actually part of the shelving out of the van, and I I just wedged that in there, like I said, to even the weight out. Put that end of the crowbar in, did that, and then it pulled it out nicely. It probably looks more bulged out there, yeah, and it goes in there as you can see, but still, not bad. Because what that has to do, right, if I zoom you into there, you can see that black bit there. And what that has to do is go all the way in, which is easier to use that piece there. And then it clicks, and it wasn't going that far in. And then when you undo that, it pulls it out again. So now, you don't even have to slam the door, you just... Oh, maybe you have to slam the door slightly. Yeah, you've got to slam it slightly. And then that'll be the end of this video. And then the next video will be the sound deadening, insulation, and vapor burying. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs>